Good morning guys. Welcome to my Saturday morning. So today I thought we would do a little bit of a skincare video. I want to walk you through everything that I kind of can keep in my collection and then we're going to do my morning skincare routine and my nighttime skincare routine and this video is probably going to be a little bit longer than I want. I'm going to try to be as concise as possible. Um, but it is quite early. I'm just happen to be awake this morning my body's kind of gotten on that early morning clock schedule so this morning I'm gonna show you my like little lazy Susan of skincare and then tonight when there's a little bit better light I'll show you everything that's in the drawer but I want to talk you through like what I have what I love what I'll keep her buying what I feel like has really worked for my skin what I feel like I'm just kind of using up um, just as much information as I can kind of pack in here especially for those of you who have hormonal acne like myself. Um, right now my skin has a little patch right here that I'm trying to determine what has triggered that. And then I can feel a little spot coming up over here. I think that something I had yesterday had gluten in it and that's probably what happened with that. So sometimes I have to play and tweak with things, but a lot of times for me, it's my food. I'm trying to get my water in this morning. So let's start with the lazy susan let's go through everything i've kind of cleaned it up for you guys but it also looks like a little bit of a mess i have brushed my hair but we're gonna pull that back so we can wash our face in just a minute so let's look at the lazy susan so if you guys have followed me for a while or if you're new i used to have actually you can see it down there that case that's on the bottom is filled with like all of my nail polish that used to sit up here and then i could never get to my nail polish and everything didn't really sit very well. So I like the idea of the Lazy Susan. I saw like a bunch of other people had it. They have the ones that are kind of tiered, um, but those wouldn't fit under here, I measured. So this is all kind of jam-packed in here, but there's like logic to it. I kind of have it set in a way that makes sense for my brain. So it goes from cleanser essentially around. So however you would kind of do your face. Um, I have this Otisite Mint Cleanser. This is kind of my everyday cleanser. I bought this as my potential replacement and dupe for the Tata Harbor Clarifying Cleanser. It's nice. I don't hate it. It's not like the world's best cleanser. I haven't really decided if I'm going to repurchase it. I'm kind of thinking I'll go for something else. I may like dish out the money for the Tata Harbor one. We'll see. But it's been a nice cleanser. It just hasn't been like life changing. And the Osea one back here, this Ocean Cleanser. I'm just trying to use up. I splash it in occasionally. I really don't like it. It aggravates my eyes. And this Juice Beauty one, I bought ages ago. I found it in the drawer, so I've been trying to use that up. There's only a little bit left of that. The Tarte Blemish Bully is, I have two spot treatments. This was recommended for me a long time ago, like, well, before I fully made the switch to Clean Beauty, but I've kept it on hand simply because it does help to a degree and I don't use them that often. As far as toners go, I have like four on the go right now. So Witch Hazel, I always have on hand. It's really gentle. It's kind of what I go back to most of the time, but I'm almost out of it. Um, so I did buy the Indy Lee one, but I do love the Witch Hazel one. It's kind of just a staple. I always keep it on hand because it's great. Ren Ready Steady Glow. I've been enjoying this one. I need to find a better like system routine with it, but I have enjoyed it and I do feel like it helps to a degree, if you're introducing acids and kind of that exfoliating side to your skin, this is a great place to start. Andy Lee CoQ10 Toner. I love this toner. I've been using this toner a lot more lately. It has the hydration effects, the hyaluronic acid, and all of that. So it's really calming and really soothing for your skin. Josh Rose Book Hydrating Accelerator. I like this one. I don't know that I have the hype for it that everybody else does, but I still enjoy it. And then tucked behind here is the Walita Skin Food. This kind of middle catch-all is weird, but I use this kind of more on my chest, sometimes on my face. Sometimes I can find it, it's a little too much for my face, so it just depends on what I need, but a lot of times I use this on my chest or anywhere on my body that needs like a little bit of extra love. And the Endy Lee Calendula Eye Balm. I don't super love that one still, mostly because it's just a weird texture. So if I'm going to use it, I find that I really only use it at night and I'm trying to use it up. So I pulled it out to make it kind of a habit to do. And then there's two more eye creams. The Fit Glow Icy, Fe Icy Firm is 
something that came in my detox market box. I'm still using it up, but I don't know that it's like been transformative enough that I want to spend the money on it. And then the Honest Beauty one is the Instant Blum Eye Cream. I use that one pretty much every day and I like it. It's affordable until I find that like I find an eye cream that super targets my skin. I don't want to dish out a lot of money for it, so I'll probably continue to try samples. And the Honest Beauty one's like 20 bucks. Indeed, Lee daily vitamin infusion. This came in another detox market monthly box. I really like it. I will say that I did spill it. So it kind of went down like that much initially, but I've enjoyed using it. I don't feel like, I'm not sure if I'll repurchase it or not, mostly because I really like to have like a vitamin C serum in the morning to kind of be the brightening part of my routine. And this has been enjoyable, but I don't know if it fits what I'm looking for in my skincare right now. This Agent Ensure Holy Oil, this came in this month's Z-Talk Market box, and I like it, but I will say that, like, I'm glad that I got to try it. I don't think I would repurchase it. It's their Youth Serum, and I honestly, it kind of reminds me of Youth Do in a way, and so I would rather just buy the Maitland from Youth Do, to be honest. Okay, this little pile is all the things that don't lay down, and it's pretty much retinols, so... I've talked about this one before, the Drunk Elephant Retinol Cream, and then before I did the Drunk Elephant, I have the different, I could probably give that away, so I'm going to set that over there, but I have a love-hate relationship with this, and I've heard lots of reviews. This is actually the little sample pot that I first got it in. I keep it there because sometimes this packaging overflows and I can just kind of cuff it off into that thing. Um, but for me, I've had to really play with how I use this because it has a tendency to spread. So while my face may not like really dry out and I might not have that issue, it'll spread down to my neck and then I'll have like dry patches around my neck. So I've tried to find, I'm trying to find my happy medium in incorporating this like once a week or so, maybe twice a week, but I haven't used it as much as I was using it just because I took a break to kind of try to heal my skin. The Walita Hydrating Iris. Night, well, iris hydrating night cream um i haven't used as much of this as i need to but i did want to test out a bunch of the willita products so i could give you guys some affordable options so i'm still testing that i just happen to have quite a few moisturizers on the go right now the drunk elephant glycolic night serum i'm still using that up i actually bought that when i bought all of my other drunk elephant stuff that like my vitamin C serum and something else. And those are all gone. And this is still kind of chilling. So slowly but truly, it's not, not life-changing enough for me, I guess. I just have certain things that I think I love more. And I don't know that I'll keep this on hand. But I haven't decided. I, I, keep, I go back to it and I play with it depending on where I need it in my routine. But glycolic in a serum is also kind of odd for me. I kind of like to use my acids in more of a toner place. So this is a... I have mixed feelings about that particular one. I don't hate it. I just don't know that I found that it fits in how I like to do my routine. The Elizabeth Arden Retinol. Bought these forever ago. Um, I guess technically they're not necessarily like clean beauty, but I'm still using them up. And they're nice for travel because they're in their little compact situations. And they're a lot more gentle Like if you're starting retinol. Caroline Hirons has done an amazing retinol series, and I'll link that down below. But if you're starting retinol, these are good to start with. Um, I have a little packet of the counter match because I used that last night and there's still some left. So I left that out to use tonight. And then I got a mini of the Drunk Elephant B Hydration Serum. I have been trying that, but I'm not sure that like I need to have it in my life forever and pause for water. Okay, moisturizer. So back here is the... May Lindstrom Blue Cocoon. I enjoyed this product. I'm still not so, like, if I could pick, I would pick Youth Do. So I still have a tiny bit of that left, but I actually really like the Josh Rogebrook um, cream. I don't remember exactly the name of it, which sat on there before, but I used all of that up. So I would actually buy the Josh Rogebrook one before I would buy that one, which sounds really bad. I mean, I love that, but I really like the Josh Rogebrook one. And then over here we have the Indie Lee Daily Skin Nutrition. This came with the serum. I really enjoy this. There's probably a good potential that I would repurchase this. Um, it's just a really nice hydrating, but not too much. 
kind of moisturizer and then the beauty counter matte effect gel cream i have repurchased this this is a favorite i do love that one back here is the phoenix facial oil i bought this as a potential dupe slash replacement for youth dupe it's nice it's a lovely oil it's not youth dupe so i might i potentially could see myself buying another one on hand just because it's a nice facial oil but i'm not like sold on it uh back here is I'm going to talk about this because I'm going to talk about those in a second. But the Beauty Counter Counter Sun Mineral Sunscreen Lotion. I've been using this as my daily sunscreen for a while. And I don't think I'm going to continue to do that. I feel like my skin does a little bit better with the pharmacy one. I love the pharmacy one. The only reason I didn't buy the pharmacy one again was because they were out of it. I did tag them in Instagram yesterday asking them to please tell me they were bringing it back soon. And they said they were coming back with it. So this gets used on the regular every day. As far as my like daily sunscreen and I mix it with a little bit of this guy the drunk elephant the bronzy anti-pollution sunshine drops that it goes on my face every single day and there's a lot of days where honestly that's like my base I just love 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 that combo so I have a couple of these mini floating around I'm super hoping that they launch the SPF again in Sephora before I run out but hopefully that won't happen because I have been debating buying a different sunscreen just because I feel like this is, this is nice and I'll probably use it up on my body, but it's not exactly what I want for my face. So, lots of products, lots of talking, a lot to start the morning off with. Um, so, let's get into today. So, I have my little headbands here that if you follow me on Instagram stories, you would have seen me talking about laundry detergent this week. <laughs> A very exciting time let me tell you and by the way I use these because they're gentler on your hair so like if you have damaged hair or brittle hair or bleached hair it's not nearly as like breaking on them if you are sliding them back versus constantly putting them in a pony it breaks them but you saw me talking on Instagram earlier this week gonna wet my Ferreira Luna and pump some of my Otis on it then you'll saw, see that I was talking about my struggle with laundry detergent and this is one of the things that like I felt like I was washing my stuff and it wasn't getting clean or at least anything that had makeup on it never seemed to come off and so I realized that my laundry detergent just wasn't working for at least the stain stuff I don't know if it was working for anything else but if it doesn't work for the stuff that you can see probably isn't working for anything else so I ended up trying the method face wash or sorry the method laundry detergent and I really like it okay so I'm gonna rinse that off getting my clean washcloth to start the day with I do use washcloths I have face wipes you'll see those tonight when we go through the drawer but I try not to use them a because they're really not that great for the environment and b because they really aren't that great for your skin so but I do keep them on my hand all right so skin is cleansed in the morning I just do the singular cleanse with my little Freya Luna I've had this guy for ages it's one of the older ones that's got like I don't even know which one this is but I love it mostly because it charges for freaking forever I had the Clarisonic and my issue with the Clarisonic was that you lose um at some point they just die so and they don't have with the silicone head it's more bacteria friendly so like you don't have to worry about it kind of building up the gunk and you to replace it so Indie Lee Coke Tin Toner I could do this with the little cotton rounds I have them but I just do the I coat myself in it because I can and then we let it dry I feel like I need one of those fans Tati's always using I see I'm going in with my Honest Beauty I'm going to take a little bit and gently rub it in now I will leave this a little bit thicker 
if I need to and then give it some time to settle. I'm not too concerned about that because typically in my morning routine, I'm doing this on a Saturday, Monday through Friday. But when I'm doing this, I typically have gotten up, gone to the gym, come back, I've showered. I typically will wash my face like in the shower, but also don't stick my face under the faucet because uh, that water is too hot. But after I do my skincare, I normally go make my breakfast and then come do my makeup. So my skin has a little bit of extra time to let everything settle in. Okay, so moisturizer, I just pick what I want every day. There's nothing like insane. Actually, pause. Yeah, I'm gonna use the Drunk Elephant one. I normally use the serum. I haven't really used the Drunk Elephant one. I need a new vitamin C serum. I just haven't purchased one. So we're gonna use this guy today. And then I'm going to top it with the beauty counter matte effect gel. I do four pumps and then kind of just go all over. And then if I take anything down my neck, I always try to drag it up because while well, I am young, I would like to do everything I can to help my skin out. And then I always rub everything off on the side of my arm. I have a jade roller. I need to get in a better habit of using a jade roller while well, I'm thinking about that, but we're not jade rolling this morning. Maybe I'll do that later tonight. All right. Last step of the skincare routine is going to be my sunscreen. Now, I've learned the amount that works for me with most products based on my finger. So I normally take like a whole dab down the middle of my middle finger. And then I pop one almost full-ish pump of the Junk Elephant Debronzy. And then we just kind of mix it and rub it in. But for me, the Farmer's Bee sunscreen gives a nice sheer kind of blurring effect. I will say, depending on your skin tone, it might be a slightly white cast for you. So just be mindful of that. But honestly, guys, I'm so obsessed with it. Even the girl at Sephora when I bought my backup of the Deep Bronzy was obsessed with it. So that is my morning skincare routine. We will be back tonight to do the other. I don't know if I'm gonna wear makeup today or not. I'm probably gonna do like the tiny amount actually that I've got film. We're gonna wear makeup, but this is typically what I go out into the world with before I put whatever makeup on today. So I will see you guys tonight for the second half of this video. Okay, so it is Sunday evening, which means, I mean, I started this video on a Saturday. Sorry guys, things got a little bananas in our house last night. So it's time to do my skincare and I was hoping to be able to use the natural light, but I think I'm going to need more light for the drawer. So out comes the face do that. I'm just going to go ahead and chuck this on and then I'm going to walk through, oh, the coin your hair in the middle of the thing is not fun. Um, I have filmed so many videos today that I almost forgot that I needed to finish this and then I was just catching up on Instagram stories and Alice Lyman was talking about her skincare routine and I was like, oh crap, I need to finish this. So let's go through the last bit of skincare that I have to kind of share with you and then I'm going to briefly do any tidbits that I didn't do in my morning for the night. So nighttime skincare. The one thing that is over here that's not there is this Pacifica Coconut Dissolve. This is pretty much what I use to remove my makeup. It's just a nice, like, almost if I had a balm cleanser, I would use that. But I have this. It's not that expensive, and it works really well at kind of getting my makeup dissolved. Okay, guys. So this is a drawer. It's not, like, the most organized, best way to do this, but this is the system I have right now actually i tried to film this a second ago and the dogs wouldn't stop talking so i'm gonna tell you guys the things that i just pulled out this hydrating milky mist from pixie i don't really use it all that often so i might give that to a friend and the clearance moisturizing reviving eye mask i don't really use that that often either so we're gonna clean that out uh in the back i have this sample of the volition apple cider vinegar resurfacing peel pads they're kind of i guess in line with like the glow peel pads from 
pixie, but just maybe a little more clean. So a couple of different masks. All of them live back here. One is from Whole Foods. A lot of them are from Pacifica. I have some eye masks back there. Another mask I'm half through with and my face wipes. I'm currently using the ones from Honest. They're kind of my backups for things. I have a pot of the Indian Healing Clay. It's a great thing to have on hand. I think you can use it in all kinds of ways, but it's just a nice like basic clay mask. Super affordable. Pharmaesthetics, eye bright eye makeup remover and treatment oil. When I had a really bad dry patches around my under eyes, my esthetician gave this to me and I haven't really used it as much, but it's good if you are suffering from like just really tired eyes. You can pair this with like a wet cotton round and set it on your eyes for five minutes and it feels so nice. Fresh Rose Face Mask. I haven't really used this as much as I thought I would. This is one of those products that I tried in hopes of like changing my skin for the better. Eventually I'll use it again. I might actually use it tonight. We'll see. The Bare Republic SPF 30. I don't super love this. I don't really ever use it. It's just a bit runny for my taste. And Sorry, that's like drying out right now. Um, so I might pass that along to a friend. Maitland from Problem Solver. One of my ultimate face masks. I use this. I try to use this at least once a week. I'm probably due to use that, but it's not exactly what I want to use tonight. Pixie Glow Peel Pads, a classic as far as glycolic acid and just really having like an acid exfoliant rather than a like grit exfoliant. But then I also have a sample of May Lindstrom's Clean Dirt. This is one of my favorite, more like if you wanted like a scrubby scrubby thing on your face. This is a nice feeling. It doesn't overly scrub it, but it does do a nice exfoliant. The simple micellar cleansing water, I always have one of those on hand just in case I need it. Mary Kay eye makeup remover. This is kind of my staple eye makeup remover. I tend to keep that on hand just because I know that it works. The Walita Skin Food. I have the one that's up top I mentioned in this morning's part of the video is actually light. This is the more traditional skin food and it's good for any dry patches anywhere on your skin. Burt's Bees Spot Treatment. I don't know if this is like the best thing ever, but I have it to finish up using. The Josh Rose Brick Advanced Hydration Mask. I love this mask. It is my one of my faves. I do love the Vital Balm Cream. is a cream I couldn't think of the name of earlier. But this mask version pairs really well uh, with my Maitland Instrument. Anytime I exfoliate, I try to use this mask after to kind of balance everything out. The Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy. This is my backup of that. The Ren Wake Wonderful Nighttime Facial. Actually, we're going to use that tonight. And the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. This is kind of a nice happy medium, but I really don't use this as much as I thought I would anymore. I might hold on to it for a little bit longer, but I feel like it would be a good thing to get rid of. And then I still have the Saint Tropez, the Natural Glowing Skin Bronzing Face Mist. So this is nice to add glow to your face, or in my case, I use it to top of my hands and feet and things like that whenever I'm using bronzer and I want just a light added glow. So... Let's do this real quick and do my nighttime skincare routine. So, I need a fresh washcloth. Um, I'm super, super generous with this oil. Like, I do five or six pumps of this. And I really just try to get in and break down my makeup. That's really the goal. Sometimes I'll use it on my eyes. It really just depends on how much makeup I have going on and what mascara I've worn that day, but it's a good option. And then because I take bronzer and stuff down my neck, I always try to kind of go down my neck with it. Okay. So I just, now that I've fixed my washing machine situation, I do have these reusable cotton, well, not cotton rounds, but they're like the little rounds that would be the equivalent of them. So I'm gonna use that tonight along with some of my eye makeup remover. The trick is with these is that you kind of have to, until like you break them in a little bit, you have to shake down the liquid because otherwise with whatever kind of, I don't know what is on top of it, but everything likes to just spread rather than soak in. So when you first get them, if you're using the reusable ones, make sure that you take the time to just shake down the product because Otherwise, it's just really frustrating. <laughs> um, but I will say, I feel like, I don't know if you need more product. It's just a different, it takes a lot more to kind of saturate. It's just 
a learning process to use these and figuring out how they work best for you. So, but they definitely work as you guys can see. I was having issues with getting them clean, but that was as I learned because my detergent was crap. Alright, so, and then I have this little doodad over here that it came with that it's supposed to be a laundry bag. I don't really use it. I've tried to use it as a laundry bag. It's not a very good laundry bag, um, but it's a good place to collect them all. So for cleanser tonight, I'm going to use the Osea one, even though I don't super love it. I am trying to get through it, so I have a couple of months of that. And I do cleanse twice. I'm all about some double cleansing because the first time you're really breaking down your makeup and everything else, the SPF, all the gunk and dirt that's on your face, the second time you're actually really cleansing your skin. And I will apply this dry hands, dry face. Except for this one, I try to be really careful about using it, particularly around my eyes, because I can feel that I just didn't do that very well. Um, so far, in the case of the two Osea products that I have tried, I have found that both of them, there's something in the formula that irritates my eyes. So even the like facial mist, when I spray it, I can, it just, my eyes are, they feel very aggravated by it. And then tonight we're gonna use, it's gonna be a witch hazel tonight. Like I said, shake it down. So I've noticed that my skin, the texture looks a little funny. And that means I probably need to start using an acid in my routine again regularly. So I'm gonna play with whether or not that means I need to use that glycolic serum every night or what I need to do in that regard. But for tonight, we're just gonna use the Ren wake wonderful nighttime facial i heard katie dinner recommend this in an interview and how this is like the thing we're using the honest beauty again uh, that she gives to models to use when they've had a long night out and they want to have a glowy skin the next day so it's definitely not an every night product and it has that bit of tingle to it so be prepared for that but i try to keep it in the direct like in this direction with the label up rather than laying it down so that i can actually pop it out and i am going to take three pumps of that and hopefully this will help calm down my skin but you can feel it it's its own chemical thing my neck is incredibly sensitive to any acids or anything like that so i try to only take it around my general face and i try to be really mindful around the nose because that skin tends to be a lot more delicate and making sure you're leaving like a gap around the eyes and then for moisturizer tonight we're gonna use the andy lee Four pumps of that. But if I had the Josh Rose Vital Balm Cream, I would use that with this because it's just a nice serum duo that goes with everything else. So, yeah, that is my full skincare routine. So, you can see where my skin is at currently. My acne scars are starting to fade. I still have a little bit of a breakout going on down here, but. It's doing better. We just have to make little tweaks and adjustments. Some things in my diet that I need to adjust and a few things in my skincare routine. But yeah, I hope that this helped you, gave you a better idea of some products to use and what I keep in my collection. I know this video is going to be kind of long, but I really wanted to kind of dive into everything that I love and use and things I necessarily wouldn't repurchase and just what's in my skincare collection right now. So yeah, love you guys. You matter to me. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I hope that this video can inspire you to know that someday you can get clear skin i promise there isn't a, a light at the end of the channel so if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you aren't already subscribed click that button so you can come hang out with all the other savvy gals i love you guys you matter to me and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys